So uh, what is this? I'm hearing about another Egypt trip coming up, huh? Yeah. 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 We've, we've released it to the patrons and previous tour attendees. Uh, and it's already, people are signing up, but yeah, we're going to be, uh, opening up to the general public soon and people are, it's going to be awesome in February. And this time we're going to Lebanon at the end. To the go bail back. Ball back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Could you, while you're there, could you like of that, the big monolith, could you chip off a piece of it for me and bring back? <laughs> <laughs> you could do that, right? <laughs> I was wanting to bring the whole thing back. Yeah. We were just going to try to take it back with us. <laughs> the whole thing. You got a raft. Actually, is that even feasible? What What's the weight of that damn thing again? Like well, 12, like, 1,200 pound, tons. 2,000 tons. tons. Something crazy. And yeah. then the ones below it are like 2,000. Yeah, 1,800 tons. <laughs> yeah. 1,800 tons. So yeah. 1,800 tons is, yeah, that's 3.6 3. million, yeah. 3. Yeah. 3. Yeah. million, million pounds. pounds. Yeah. You know, do we would do we have the capability of transporting something that mass? I guess we do. We have, yeah, we have uh, at least the twelve hundred tons. Um, but by what mean? I mean, very not, specialized equipment. Like think of the thing that carried the shuttle, eighteen axles. Yeah. You know, yeah. Kevlar but certainly, mass. Cer yeah. certainly no. Could well, I guess a large enough ship would carry. Could, a barge yeah. could do that. that. A easy. barge could yeah. float that. Yeah, but. Yeah. In what to move one piece over land is a totally different thing than to float it on a barge. Yeah, right. You got to get it to the to the barge. Yeah. Uh huh. So how is there is there a river or waterway near? No, nope. there's not. No, nope. they were just apparently carrying them through a mountainous terrain from the quarry to the because there's a big giant block dropped in the middle. It's like in down between in, the site in and between the, the site and the quarry. <laughs> this giant block. And the Romans quarried that one. Yeah. They, 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 they were they cutting were... blocks out of the block because it's convenient. Mm. <laughs> and so they were transporting the block and they didn't fully, they didn't deliver it to right. the. Yeah. It's yeah. Just dropped there's in the three, mountains. There's in the three giant blocks in the quarry ready to go. There's one right. giant block in between the quarry and the site. And then there's multiple blocks <laughs> on the site that have been stacked up in the monolithic wall or in the megalithic wow. wall. Okay. So does it sound kind of like the Romans were like, hey, we could do this. We can match these. And then about halfway through, they're like, eh, well, screw it. No, I no, it looks to me like the Romans were building on a much older structure. That yeah, that's was, what I mean. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. the older structure is the 18,000 ton. Yes, ton. yeah. When well, well, you say the 1,800. 1,800, sorry. Yeah. The Romans probably didn't even know about those giant blocks in the quarry or else they would have cut them up and used them building. Oh, okay, there. I see. So the blocks in the quarry would have been quarried by whoever the original. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Not the Because they're stacked. They're stacked on top of each other. Yeah. The original story about that giant block was mm -hmm. that it was the Romans cut it and it was too big to move out of the quarry, so they left it there. And then they dug down and found out that it's actually stacked on top of other giant blocks. So somebody was able to move it. They Somebody picked it up and picked stacked. it up and put it up on top of other blocks. <laughs> so unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. yeah just, crazy. just stash that one over there, gents. Yeah. Up on top of those so, other ones. <laughs> All right. No problem, boss. <laughs> that what constantly, you know, bugs me is like, what is the motive? I, yeah, I know. You know, what is the motive? What is the motive? I mean, okay, if you're going to ascribe that to one particular social group, okay, these guys are outliers. You know, whatever they got yeah. this obsession with quarrying these really big stones, like to show off, hey, look what we can do, look at our capabilities, look at our skills or whatever. But it's so universal. Yeah, it's all over the place. It's all over the place. So then, you know, how is it that so many people got so motivated or so incentivized to do this yeah because obviously it's going to take an enormous amount of social organization yeah particularly you know the we'll have to do a program on some of the stuff uh you know that we're learning about the southeast and the just the chaco and culture alone and it kind of um confirms what bradley and i learned at the when we went to poverty point with george um when we, what was the guy's name? Eric? Was it Eric that was our guide that took us out? Beard, long hair. Yeah, great. Maybe the, I, I don't know something like that. But well, the thing that I really took away from that is his 
the study he cited that the that the fellow that was looking at the layers of the material in the earth that they had moved first of all because it was an undulating floodplain next to this river they leveled it and so there was an enormous amount of material transported and placed on the ground oh, yeah then they built this pyramid on top of it this huge earthen pyramid layered and so this guy did the study and i hate that i say this guy i'd much rather cite his name and and reference specifically and where his published work is but what he concluded from the 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 the, the hiatus that was between the layers there wasn't any yeah but but even if there had been a short hiatus, there would have been some evidence of, you know, some kind of regrowth of plants. There yeah. would have been seeds and pollen, and but there wasn't. It was the absence of that kind of material that would indicate a hiatus, which led him to conclude that the whole, the whole structure there, the whole infrastructure, it was was done in less than two months. Holy shit! Wow. Maybe even as low as a month. And yeah, then, you know, remember. the con right. Then the conversation went to, well, in order to pull this off in a month, you've got to have thousands of people highly organized yeah. in some kind of extreme, you know, system of labor in order to be able to do this that quickly. You know, it, it wasn't just people randomly walking around and digging and filling baskets and you know, yeah. we'll, it, the whole thing had to be like a machine run like a well-oiled machine and people... And then I asked him what the population was, and he said, well, it was a dispersed population. And the implication is, is that people came in from very wide, you know, were recruited from far and, and away from the actual site of Poverty Point. Hmm. When it was like thousands and thousands of truckloads of yes. material. Thousands and thousands of truckloads dump, of material. Dump trucks, yeah. Yeah. So there's a, you know, I got to, we got to circle back to that story. I, I want to get those references. I want to see specifically the study that the, I can't remember his name. He gave us his name. Um, there's a yep. number like that. There's like a calculation like that for the great pyramid too. Yeah. Where they just calculate the amount of material. And if you just like, I think, was it Chris Dunn maybe figured all this stuff up about yep. the quarries. So it's like, you've got all these limestone quarries. And he called them all and got like, what is your maximum production capability right now? And they're like, well, we could ramp up to this amount of stone per mm -hmm. day. And so he did this and he, he does, he does this with all these quarries and then basically figures like you, they would have to be running day and night at max capacity. And the trucks would have to be going all yeah. day and night, taking material just, just to dump a pile as big as the great pyramid for like 20 years yeah, or so. for years yeah years and yeah. years of this yeah it's like not even to stack them up not, and organize yeah, but just to just dump the two the and stuff. a half million blocks worth yeah yeah <laughs> it's crazy to think and then they're like yeah they built the pyramid in 20 years and yeah it's just like no like dragon blocks by hand yeah <laughs> yeah and listen i know you know i mean we've done jobs that have taken a year mm-hmm and I'm, you know, I, I can look at that and I can go, okay, so if this takes a year, what could I do in 20 years? Well, okay, then I've got, let's say, 10 people working for me. And then I go, okay, how many would I need? And it just, the, 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 the scale of the thing just mushrooms. Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. just mushrooms. It, 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 it gets to the yeah. point where, good God, how would you even begin yeah. to organize something like this? You know, and the same thing when we come back to the monumental earthworks of, of North America, which when you begin to get your head wrapped around the extent of that whole phenomenon, it is totally mind boggling. Yeah. What and they the, did and the amount of, of material and earth moved. I mean, Poverty Point is just one of dozens and dozens of these monumental structures. Yeah. And with Giza too, it's like first they, they went out and they're like, okay, get rid of all the sand or greenery whatever was there all the way down to the bedrock and then flatten that flat 14, 14 acre flat and then tile it and then we'll start building the pyramid on top of that <laughs> it's like what the fuck <laughs> yeah tile it with 
freaking four foot thick tiles. Yeah, are, four yeah. foot thick tiles that are like <laughs> six foot that way and eight foot that way. That are all odd shapes. They fit together like puzzle pieces. And, and those tiles, those, those they're like this thick, right? Yeah, oh, some, some of them are, are some of them are like four feet four thick. Feet thick, yeah. Depending oh on yeah, depending on the the depth to to bedrock. Yeah. yeah. Right. Wow. It's crazy. Yeah. Wow. It's nuts. And where the middle pyramid is, they dug a giant hole. The back half of that pyramid is actually set down like 20 in like 20 feet. or 30 feet down. They cut yeah. a hole to make it flat. And they cut the, the pyramid out of the rock like it's stepped up. Yeah, so and the pyramid's anchored it. in. Yeah, it's anchored in because part part of the back layers of the pyramid are actually bedrock. They're rock cut. Yeah. Really. Now we're talking about Khufu's pyramid. pyramid. Khafre. Khafre. Yeah. Yeah, the first four to six layers, or maybe it's five. Yeah. I, it was, it's somewhere around there. Four to six layers of the pyramid are actually cut straight out of the bedrock. They're rock cut yeah. on the back corner. Yeah. Because the land is sloping, right, like this. So they dug this down and left the steps part of the back of the pyramid, and then it slopes off, and then they, the rest of the front is all block, but the backside is, like, literally rock cut, and they just cased it. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. great. It's fucking awesome. It's so... <laughs> Stuff you don't see on the documentaries. Yeah, it's amazing. It's just, yeah. Why? 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 Yeah. Why? <laughs> it's what we do when we're there. Yeah. <laughs> we're always on our knees after yeah, like, we look at a site. Why? <laughs> <laughs> I can see it. <laughs> oh, man. Well, yeah, but. All right, well, we need to get. But, but here's the started. thing. Everything, there's no mystery about our past. It's all explained. The archaeologists right. have it all figured out in great detail. Yeah. It's cut and dried. You know, it's all defined in the textbook. And any variation from that or any, you know, questioning. Yeah. Um, Mike knows all the answers. Look at his face. You can tell. Yeah, you can tell. He doesn't have any questions. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just pondering on what what you were saying about the, the pyramids and what Rand was saying about... Uh, the point just yeah this the sheer wow. labor it took i think we discussed this some time back but you know if they're what two million blocks in the, in the pyramid yep okay i think one figure i read or heard in a, in a video somewhere i've forgotten which was that it it would take placing one of those every 20 seconds to get the pyramid years. done in 20 years yeah yeah I mean, it's just insane average, yeah yeah Yep. Didn't happen that way. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. <laughs> that's right. So right, anyhow, that's I'm ready yeah. when we when you guys are. Well, we are part of our video again. I mean, you haven't been videoing this conversation. Yeah, it's going. I have, but I'm going to restart for the podcast. Well, I thought this we were doing the podcast. I hadn't introduced it. We. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Shit. This whole time, I'm thinking we're having a discussion as part of the podcast. Uh, okay. Russ will just go back and do the introduction when this is over. Oh, one day, one one last thing, guys. I want you to know, I had my first bout of uh, podcast celebrity at at the uh, ah. speech the other night. I was loading my video gear in, and I kept noticing people looking at me. And finally, somebody said, "It's Mike." Yeah, I said, "Okay." <laughs> you know? And then I walked by again. And this group of people says, "It's Mike." <laughs> and and then somebody else said it's normal guy normal guy <laughs> i said b b before the normal guy this 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 group a small group of people by the front door said it's it's mike i, I stopped and i was startled i said how do you people know me i said oh my god the podcast, the podcast. <laughs> I said, yeah. well, are you geologists? You're geologists and you watch the podcast? One of them says, you don't think geologists would watch Randall's podcast? <laughs> yeah, one, was... per, one of them joined our Discord because they were like, I got to be a normal guy. <laughs> <laughs> I went to the thing that Randall gave and normal guy was there. And like a lot of people were like, man, I'm jealous you got to meet normal guy. It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it was, it was startling to me. I just, not, yeah. you know, I thought, damn, okay. That's cool, man. <laughs> It's normal guy. What? <laughs> it's normal guy. Yeah, that was it yeah. was Eleanor. That was Eleanor. She was she was standing in the lobby, the, which is this huge atrium at the Fernbank Museum, and I was against the wall carrying equipment. And I heard somebody sh look over at me and shout, "It's Mike! It's normal guy!" <laughs> <laughs> oh God! 
See, you yeah, you should have seen name, the Mike. crowd, boy. When she said that people were up on their feet, they were looking. <laughs> no. They were. It is. It is him. <laughs> you lived up to your your uh, nickname, Mike, because yeah. you know you just, you're so normal. You didn't even. You're like, how do you guys know me? <laughs> that's oh. right. Oh, that's right. I'm on a podcast. I wanted to, I wanted to apologize, apologizing to everyone saying, I was just startled. I'm sorry. I didn't, didn't think anybody would recognize me. It just, <laughs> it just was startling. Well, next time, a, Mike, lot we... the, a, a lot of these people have spent hundreds of hours watching you stare at them, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> <It's really> Silently. <laughs> well, Next time we do something like that, Mike, and you're you're there, you'll have to wear dark glasses. Then. <laughs> well, that was it. I was wearing my sunglasses, and Eleanor said, "I recognize you even with the haircut and the glass sunglasses." And I said, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> "That's great." No, 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 that's not how it works. You need to take the glasses off. Yeah, and then no one will recognize. Right. You. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Let's do this thing. Yeah, yeah. I, I I launched into you know talking to you, Russ. I wouldn't. I. I was thinking that we were in the podcast when I said, well, Russ, you guys are Egypt trip coming up. Oh yeah. No, I haven't, I haven't given, you know, the music didn't play. Didn't... Yeah, of course. Of yeah. course. But yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, that can be a little behind the scenes thing. or just yeah. be its own stand. Yeah. yeah. There we go. They're perfect, Brad. Perfect. Could yeah. be a little behind the scenes little thing. Patreon that was a... bumper. There we go. Great. Con- little great conversation we had. All right. Let me restart then. <laughs>